Hey, what is up, y'all? This is your boy, the e-bike guy, back again with another video. And as y'all see before us, we got two badass chargers. Sorry, speaking my French, but yeah, these are the two bad behind chargers right here that y'all seen on the right that I did a review on this bad boy, which is still a beast of its own. And on the left, this is the new charger that I got from AliExpress. And uh, this one right here is a very, very powerful charger. I'm going to explain later on in the video. So the reason why I'm actually doing a, a little detail, not really detail, but a comparison review on both of these chargers, because for one thing, they're pretty cheap. This one right here on the right, you can get this one for $99. The one on the left, you can get for $108. So eight more bucks, you can acquire this right here. I'm going to tell you a little bit about the similarities of both of these chargers. For one thing, they're both... What happened, son? <laughs> so anyways, so here's the similarities of these two chargers. They both, they both smart chargers. They both variable amps and variable voltage. So you can adjust the voltage of the chargers. You can, uh, you can actually adjust the amperage of the two chargers as well. Both of them has L, um, LED displays. The one right here is the front, and this one on the right is at the top. And they both have dual fans. So as you can see, this one right here has a dual fan in the front. Uh, the one on my right has the one on, on the, the back. So here's your indicator lights. You have your run, alarm, and fault. And it has a little carrying handle right here, so you can can um, carry it. Let's see what I want to start with. Oh, we're going to start with this one right here. Okay. So, like I said, this is $99 in AliExpress. But, I mean, when you pay a little, you're going to pay a little more because of the tax and the shipping and all that stuff right there from China. But, this one right here, it's a, it's a little bit more involved. Okay. And I'm going to explain to you a little bit more in the video. But, it does come with its own or its own uh, XT60 connector and this is the female side so i got a i got a female xt60 and this is a male that t60 so they have a gender? huh they have a gender? what are you talking about you said female have them. yeah this is a female no i'm just joking yep so this so this right here is a male so you can see right there that's a male end and then you have the female end right there so but it does come with a lead um request from the supplier that you can have a XT60 from here to like an XLR connector or an XT90 of your choice. Also, it does come with an AC plug too, which is right here, but this actually plugs into the charger, as you can see right here. So that plugs into the charger. Now, the one on the left, uh, it's already it's already made it into the chart itself. Okay, so we're gonna get to these adjustable um, knobs and stuff in a minute. Okay, now, what I'm talking about more involved with this one because of the fact that these both, both of these can serve as a power supply. The only thing about this one is that, that you can see the switch right here. So you have to turn the switch to the right to activate the charger and that turns on like a power supply at the same time. And then you flip the switch over to the left. That will activate the smart charger or a auto stop feature, what they say in uh, the description on their website. Okay. Now that's just a little bit more involved. I really don't recommend this type of charger to just anybody because like I say, to activate this charge, you have to flip that switch to the right. If you don't, it won't start up. But if you flip the switch to the right, it will start up. But once you charge, once you plug your battery or your load into the charger, you have to flip the switch back to the left. If not, auto stop feature will not be enabled and you can actually overcharge your batteries. And that's why the reason why I really don't recommend this to just uh, somebody that's just getting into e-bikes, e-bike batteries and charging. Now the one on my right, I mean my left right here, this was more user friendly, okay? So it doesn't have no switch to enable all the stop feature and everything. It's already built in the charger. So here, here's you got your um, adjustable amperage knob right here, and this is your adjustable voltage knob on the left. And you see how 
how that the a voltage knob is actually sticking out of the charger the one on the right you have to actually get a screwdriver if you can see right here you have to get a screwdriver to go in there and to adjust your voltage like i said this is a little bit more involved okay that's the differences also another difference is that this will max out at 100 volts and 15 amps okay so like i said this one maxes out at 100 volts and the maxes at amperage is at 15 amps okay now the one on my left okay now the one on my left now this one on the other hand maxes out at 141 volts and the maximum amps to charge your battery is at 30. so this one is two times more powerful than the one on my right and it's more user friendly so I do recommend that this charger, so if you got the extra $8, I recommend you getting this charger if you not experienced with e-bike batteries and stuff like that. Um, if you were a little bit more involved and if you just got like a 72 or, you know, an uh, 84, 84 volt battery, like a 21S setup or 20S setup, uh, this will be more than enough, you know especially if you got a low amp hour battery now if you have a, a high amp hour battery be say like a 50 on up then i recommend you getting this charger because this charges a little bit faster than this charger right here okay so another thing about the charger on on the right is that when you plug it in the fans doesn't initially start up right away so when once those fans turn on you have to flip the switch to the right once you do that then the fans actually turn on and then it'll start to charge up. You see your voltage indicator goes up to where you set your voltage at. And then you plug your load in and then you flip the switch to the left. On this one, as soon as you plug in, it's gonna take about five seconds. The five seconds for like, I guess the capacitors are inside this bad boy to power up. The fans come on automatically, okay, right away. And then you can, um, your voltage will be started up. You know, say if you, haven't started this it'll be set at like 24 36 volts you have to adjust it to your desired voltage and then you can plug the battery in and then it'll start charging so i tell you what what let's go ahead we're going to use the tommy bike over there for an example we're going to go ahead and start with the one on the right okay the starting procedure on this charger right here and then we're going to do the one on the left okay like i say both of these chargers are, are damn good this one's probably gonna be the better one if you need a bigger battery if you have a bigger battery that you need to charge up and fast, quick, fast, and hurry, you get this one. Now, if you're an experienced person and don't really care about, you know, how fast your battery charge, you can go ahead and get this one. Like I say, this was more involved. You know, you have, you got to have memory and it's just involved with the switch right here to activate the auto stop feature in this charger right here. But without further ado, let's go ahead and rack these bad boys up and I'm gonna show you what I'm talking about. All right, so one thing I forgot to mention about this charger right here in particular is that it doesn't come with a uh, charging cable like the one on the right, okay? So this one comes with a, a charging cable. This one right here does not. So when you have to make your own. So what I did, since this one has a female XT60, I had to make a male XT60 because of the fact that all my you know, batteries has a female xt60 into it so i had to make two males i had to make a male here and a male there okay so that way i can plug it into this charger and i can plug it into my battery and then i can actually charge it up so i did have to make this and this was easy okay i got the it's like 12 gauge wire i got it from autozone um so i um went and got some of that and just made me a little lead you know it's not really the best or the prettiest looking thing but it works so yeah so i put that over there and then we're gonna go and start up with this bad boy first and then we'll do this one second and let me show you what i'm talking about all right so here we are we're gonna start with this charger right here and then we're gonna go ahead and plug that in so we're gonna go ahead and grab our, our plug which is right here we're gonna plug that in right quick it's kind of hard to do this with one hand but since my hands are pretty big it doesn't really doesn't really uh it's not that stressful and get it firm in now right quick and as you can see it started up now as you notice that the fans is not on because the switch is actually flipped over into the auto stop feature now let's start it on up so we're gonna go down here and we're gonna flip that switch to the right 
and as you can know the fans are coming on and I got to set voltage to 85 volts this is what I charge my battery normally when I'm actually racing but usually be at 84 volts but you can actually set it whatever you want okay so so the charger started now I'm gonna go ahead and get the, the charging cable okay so we're gonna plug it in here first the charger all right so we got that plugged in and now we're gonna plug it into the bike right here okay that was easy right there all right so as you can see that is actually charging at 14 amps and that's the max it can really do you know what i mean sometimes it starts at like 15 or so but usually be around about 14.9 you know as it's saying right now and it's actually charging the battery up now remember when you charging your battery you have to set the switch to the to the left okay now that's going to activate the auto stop feature in this if you don't have that switch flipped over to the left it is not going to be enabled and you can potentially overcharge your battery so that's the reason why i really don't recommend this to anybody that's new and to the e-bike community and to batteries and stuff like that because this is um charger is pr really potentially dangerous so yeah but yeah that's that's how you um charge it charge your battery with this charger and now we're going to disconnect it and we're going to do is disconnect the charging cable now you see how it stopped that's the auto stop feature now if you turn the switch back to the right it'll come on now it's back at 80 you know saying 84 or 85 volts you know and then you know it's going to charge it's going to keep charging it's not going to stop <laughs> so yeah let's go ahead and get the other charger hooked up and show you that one all right so here it is we got the bad boy on the, the table right here, my makeshift table, you see where I got stacked a bunch of puzzles and stuff right here. So anyway, yeah, so we got her, got it on there. It's not plugged in yet, but I do have the charging cable plugged into the bike already. And then we have the charger plug right here. So we're gonna plug it in first. Now, what I remember I was telling you about the, uh, the charging, the, the charger itself is gonna have to be initialized maybe about three or four seconds. So we're gonna plug it in right quick. Okay, so it's plugged in, and we have to wait. That's the only thing about it, it doesn't start right then and there, you know what I mean? It's like an old Macintosh computer. <laughs> okay, now this one, now you see how loud the fans is? That bad boy is loud. <laughs> so anyways, so what you need to do on this one, same thing with the charger, on the this other chargers, is that you can just have to adjust your uh, voltage you know, but since they already um, set, I got this one set at like 84.2. All right. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the charging the charging cable into the charger. All right, hold on. Let's get this right. And there's only one way to do it. All right. And now this bad boy is charging. Now it's, just, it's at 78 volts. Same thing with the other charger's reading. Now you can adjust this bad boy. Now we're going to go a little higher. I'm not going to go too high because this charger can potentially trip the breakers in the house. Okay? Because this thing draws a lot of power. Believe me when I say. <laughs> Especially when it's on this little rinky dink uh, little extension cord right there. You know? So anyways. So we're going to adjust the, um, the amperage. And as you can see, this bad boy can go higher. Okay. And we'll stop right at 20. Let's see here. Let's go ahead 20. Okay, hold on. Right there. That's a 20.2. <laughs> so, that's what I'm saying. So, this bad boy can go a lot higher. It can charge your bike a little faster. Uh, like I say, it draws a lot more power uh, than this chart, than the one that we just pre previously plugged in. And this is a, this is a bad charge, you know. What I mean, you, you you if you want a a decent, damn good charger for the price, you get this one right here. It's one hundred eight dollars, but after taxes and shipping, it comes to about thirty seven dollars, you know, something like that, you know. But it's still worth it, though. Still worth it, you know. what I mean, and it's cheaper than you know the so called Roger charger. That looks exactly like this one a little bit, 
like I say, I recommend getting that charger right there. But like I say, this charger right here is user friendly. All you gotta do is plug her in, let it initialize, plug in your charging cable. If you already got the voltage and the amp set, let it go. Once it gets to its above uh, voltage, or uh, to its uh, you know, voltage, it's gonna trickle down, the amp is gonna go down, which really indicating that it's almost uh, done charging the battery. So, all right, let's get these bad boys off and back on the, on the bed and uh, close it out. And there you have it. Uh, those are the two chargers right here that, you know, that I brought from AliExpress. Like I said, I've been using this for a long time and it's been damn a good charger. Like I said, I use this as a backup. Uh, my son has a 5 amp charger, but we go on long journeys and stuff like that. I will actually take this one and charge this battery up a little bit faster than this 5 amp charger. Uh, I use this one all the, uh, this is my go-to charger right for as of right now. Uh, that's this is right here been good to be charging the 58 amp hour battery that's on my Tommy bike and it's been one heck of a charger uh, to charge that big battery. But anyways, like I say, I did a review on this one and this is a beast of a charger at the time, but like I say, this was more evolved. Uh, this charge right here can be potentially dangerous if you don't um, know what you're doing as far as flipping the switch and all that good stuff right there. You, you gotta know what you're doing when you get this charger. Now this charger right here, it's more of a plug and play, set it, forget it type deal. Uh, you can just plug this in your battery, turn it on, plug it in, and you can uh, let it do its thing. Uh, that's all you gotta do. Once, long as you um, plug this in and put the switch on the, the one on this one, as uh, long as you flip that switch to the left, it's going to do its thing too, but you have to enable the auto stop feature in this. But anyway, so yeah, that is it against these two charges, uh, the comparison against these two charges right here. Uh, like I say, these two are very good chargers. This one's more powerful. $8, you get more a more powerful charger. Uh, hands down, this is more powerful than the one on the right. So I'm going to be getting one for my uh, customer, um, Alexander uh, Skirt. He's getting a, a 96 volt um it's a 96 volt 54 amp hour battery and he's going to be getting a charger like this and and i uh, like i said i recommend this charger right here but anyways yeah so yeah i just wanted to share my thoughts and my experience on these two chargers right here because like i say i had somebody that actually brought this charger and they had bad experiences with this one uh he had brought two of these and still had a bad experience with them. So he actually got one to work by getting parts off one charger or making one charger work using, you know, parts off the other charger. And and um, he actually brought this one and he actually recommended me to get one. So I went ahead and tried it out. And yeah, I'm definitely in love with that bad boy right there. So yeah. So anyway, so this is the, the my little video on these two chargers right here. Uh, tell me what you think. I'm going to have the links on both of these charges in the description. And yeah, so that way you can go on the description and click on the link. You can either uh, get these two charges right here, like I say. But I recommend this one um, all day. All right, so this is the e-bike guy. Thanks for watching this video, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.